What's going on everybody? I hope you lot are well. Today we are taking a first look at Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Uh, you're like, what's going on here? It's like the 12th of the 21st, 2023. We haven't even got enough time to buy this as a Christmas gift. I'm gift. I'm so sorry. I'm coming to this like two months late. I picked up this game a couple of weeks ago on like the Black Friday sale, and I've been sick for a Black Friday sale, and I've been sick for a, a while, so I'm out of chance. And obviously, this is this game is getting great plaudits indeed. So I was, I, I was just like, all right, we gotta do it, man. Like you know, is it? So this is so. This game has been out for like two months now. Everybody's probably heard everything about this. So we're just going into this from the mindset of, is it as good as everybody says? That's all That's all we care about here. You know, like I'm, no deep, smart conversations from me here. It's just like, I've heard this being compared to Super Mario Bros. Uh, uh, I'm lost words now. I've heard this being compared to super mario world and i think super mario world is the greatest game ever made and i was like oh my god that is like that's a little bit unfair on this game because it's got such a high expectation and bar to meet for me now but like you know as soon as journalists and all that put in that category it was like oh this feels like the uh, uh natural follow-up to super mario world i was like oh really i was like oh i've got to pay attention to this game now so yeah, I'm coming into this like with that regard. It's like, yo, how, you know, because most 2D uh, Mario games are good. I, I enjoy 2D Mario over 3D Mario, but I'm just like, okay, is is it that good? So that's 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 all we're going to do. Obviously, a uh, short video will be go up on uh, YouTube, longer video will be up on Twitch. So if you want to watch that full stream, uh, links will be in the description. All right, so um, off the bat... <sighs> Uh, they've already done like how you load up profiles a little bit different you don't do it before you boot up into the game you do it like in the game which is okay it's interesting uh another thing is uh you get to pick your characters off the bat from what i understand though uh they've done something very different here because you know how like luigi and yoshi have their floaty jumps and like peach is like toads are faster and Peach has a different floaty jump. It's like everybody's the same here now. So this is just cosmetic, which is a shame because that always added a bit of, you know, depth. Uh, the only thing that they've done different here, like you could read on the bottom right, if you use Yoshi and Nabe, I don't even know who that is. Uh, you get Yoshi and Nabe won't take damage, but uh, won't take damage, but they also won't transform with power ups. So like if you want the easy mode characters, like give this to the younger, or, like you know, kids and all that. Uh, that's who you'd probably use. I wish they would have kept, you know, that for each character. All right, we're going Mario. This is the only way we're doing. Uh, Plays Mario, yes. Uh, but like the the way they've the reason they took that out, from what I understand, is the way they make this game deeper is like you get certain abilities, and that is universal for all characters that you can equip and unequip, like stickers and things like that. We'll, we'll find out anyway. Welcome to the Flower Kingdom. It's just a short hop away from the Mushroom Kingdom. Upon uh, receiving an invitation from uh, Prince Florin, is that how you say it? Princess Prince Florin, Mario, and others are traveling here for the first time. Also, my Twitch chat is going to have to let me know if they can hear audio and it doesn't sound weird because I'm having capture card problems. Uh, so, if we quickly just go start here, uh, have a look at the settings. Because uh, this is all the settings there are. Nintendo first party games are known for hardly any settings. No sound options, no nothing at all. This is all you have. We're going to turn off motion controls because, you know, and then you've got like, uh, how do you want your ground pound to be? Do you want to put on the, uh, do you want to press, put it on the down button or do you want to hear on the uh, shoulder buttons as well? Because you don't accidentally want to, like sometimes when you're doing complex jumps, hit down and then do a, that like ground pound. So you can, you can turn that off if you want. Then obviously the A and B dash jump, like turn swapped around um the motion controls obviously we're gonna turn off and then okay it's fine the only mario the like the mario on the wii i think they did motion controls well there but like because i'm not a big fan of the joy cons anyway because i'm playing this with a third party controller which hasn't got motion controls uh that's why you know if, if the switch had like wii style a good controller then i wouldn't mind using the motion controls but all right, so we've got talking flowers. Where's the party? Where's the party? Right here. Let's go. So many visitors today. Have a great time. Oh, 
party time. Isn't this how old the galaxy get? Is, sorry, I was gonna say, isn't this how old the galaxy game start as well? Why is there always a, like some party or some event? Like we already know, okay? I didn't see the traders. We already know who's gonna crash every single time. Maybe like Mario and Pete should just know. Yo, maybe we shouldn't hold like you know parties because somebody's gonna come crash it. I don't know if it's because of the latest movie or anything, but I, like I've switched my opinions on Bowser now. I'm like, yo, Bowser's such a G. Like, I want him to come crash the party. Look at that. Like, the whole thing just turned, the whole scene just turned cool as soon as Barry, uh, Bowser came. Get in. Look at this. Boring. Bowser. I uh, wish Bowser come down. So much more interesting. And again, I'm saying, yo, I wonder if that's because Jack Black made made Bowser fun. Peaches, 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 peaches. Sorry, if you haven't seen the movie, you don't know what I'm talking about. Go watch that music video. I mean, I, it did take what's his name to do Mario voice for all those years to make Mario the part of the character he is. Maybe we just needed a better personality for Bowser, for, you know, Bowser to get some love. Uh, was that King Bubba Bowser? How could he steal our wonder flower and our flowers, uh, flower, and our flower castle too? I can't believe he merged with our beautiful castle like that. It's, it's just awful. <laughs> it's just awful, chat. Bowser will make a terrible mess of our whole kingdom if we don't stop him somehow. <laughs> Okay, flowers speak, but Mario still doesn't speak, by the way. You help us, thank you. I'd like to be your guide if you don't mind. Let, let me just. Again, if you don't know, the big gimmick of this game is like those wonder flowers. So this is like obviously Mario and the platforming is the same as you've always seen, but they're totally changing it up because they haven't had a big like worldwide gimmick for the longest time because Mario's the 2D Mario games have played it safe for the longest time. The last thing, the last time we saw a big change was like the DS, the new Mario games. But even then they didn't change it up that much, right? You got the ability to like, you know, uh, go into big Mario and that big Mario gimmick, they didn't even introduce into the mainline games. They only kept it to the, from what I understand, they only kept it on the portable games, right? Um, but the wonder flower in this game is way more of a change to baseline Mario than we've seen for the longest time. So that's one of the reasons this game is getting um, like praised so much. I got a question for my Twitch chat on YouTube. Are you playing with D-pad or analog stick? Cause I'm so used to like pressing analog stick for everything. Uh, I'm playing with D-pad right now, but it's also very like, I don't know, my hands are weak chat, I'm so weak. Um, that's what happens when you become boomer. Like the only reason I want to use the analog stick right now is because it's less effort. Because the analog sticks have less friction. Does that make sense? It's so weird. And like you know, the analog stuff has become precise enough now. Uh, so anyway, to looking looking at the moves is, uh, you know, you got your classic run and jump, and then on the on your side buttons, you got spin dash. You got your duck, and if you press the duck button in the air, or if you press down, uh, you can do your ground pound. Uh, if you do your spin dash button in the air, then you got this. You got that little spin, which we saw in the um, Mario Maker games, which helps you like float a little bit longer. And then the big new power up, big boy Mario. Shout out to my fellow big boys in the Twitch and YouTube comment section. We're finally getting some representation. You love to see it. So he doesn't slow down or anything. Just in case you're wondering like how he feels. It's just like, uh, like a new outfit and a new power. So he gets to basically use his trunk. 
um, to attack. And then when you go into water, yeah, you know, like he drinks in water. And then you got one, two, three, like four, four goes of checking out water. And then there's like, uh, there's like flowers and stuff that needs watering that you're. Uh, you can hold a power in reserve. You press the A button to use it, I think, rather than classic Mario, and you press select. Mario World, it was select, right? You hold on select. And there you have it. This is the big new thing. The Wonder Flower usually, uh, like, changes things up and everything goes, like, you know, trippy. Or like Nintendo would want you to say, Wonder E. So they changed the gimmick of the Wonder Flower time. It's not the same thing. It, like every level, not every level. I'm assuming they reuse it some, some like a bit. But I've heard there's a lot of variety in what the flower does. All right, there's all these new currencies that I don't understand. I grew up in the world of where there was just coins. There was red coins and there was Yoshi coins. I don't know what these other purple coins are Wonderful. all right i got a wonder seed okay whatever that does i say they use d-pad okay after mario maker 2 honestly i said to myself i'm never gonna buy a 2d mario game again because I was just like, oh, there's there's nothing they can do that can... Because um, it's just pointless buying 2D Mario games again. Because, you know, you could just uh, save money. And, like, people make good, you know, Mario Maker levels. But, like, the fact that they changed it up so much, I was like, oh, actually, maybe it's worth... And it's a shame that they're not supporting Mario Maker 2 anymore. Because, I mean, they could make a Mario Maker 3 off the back of, back of this now. Because... Um, you know, there'd be a new ability and stuff, right? Because I don't think they would introduce this as DLC. But, like, that's the only reason I was like, oh, you know, I, it actually might be worth buying this here because, um, like, it's different enough. You see what I mean? All right. Wonder Seeds are going to be really useful on our adventure. Let's get some more. Sounds good to me. Okay. Piranha plants on parade okay i gotta get used to reading r level names because welcome to the flower kingdom because they all you know donut planes and all that it's like they got some classic names so we gotta read it again i, I only thing i'm doing in today's stream i have to compare this to the wor world my objective and also always holding run wait piranha pants can run now it's all this not in my mario all right, finally get the flower power. All right, flower power sound effects. Sound a bit whatever. Pew, pew. Ah, it seems like that purple currency like carries over sure oh interesting okay so we've seen a lot of games do this gimmick before has it has a mario game ever done this gimmick before we saw Son the recent sonic game did this gimmick i want I, a lot of those wii 2d platformers did this game like limbo was it limbo or something like that did this that was the first game i can remember doing this gimmick so it's cool that like mario is doing this now but this is not new right there's another donkey kong sorry donkey kong country returns yeah, like I said, a lot of those, a lot of those Wii games was doing this gimmick. Okay, so whenever you see pipes in the background, that means that this has a a secret pipe that you can go down. All right, okay. So you can get over there. Well, yeah. 
dance, huh? Sorry, chat. I saw a video. I knew there was a. I knew there was something there. Don't judge me. He's such a cheater. Alright, what's the Wonder Flower gonna do on this level? Wait, Piranha Plant Sing now? It just makes me wanna watch my. Uh, what's that? Little House of Horrors? What's that movie called? I just wanna watch that again. I've been saying for years I like, need to watch that, but now I wanna watch it even more. Oh, little shop of horror, sorry, Shite saying yes. Shop, not house. Sorry, we're playing a um we're playing a a Mario game that we're probably gonna do this at E for everybody stream. That's probably not the movie I should be talking about kids. Hey, don't look it up. You don't see that every day. Actually I don't know. It's a comedy, but it is dark comedy, right? It's probably Gramsca Daddlers, okay. Ah, uh, that looks like a new enemy type. All right, so that's how the, the ability works. It feels so weird right now for any of my Donkey Kong Country fans because when you got the elephant and you hold the run button, you can pick up the barrels with your horn, uh, with your trunk, sorry. You can't do it right now. It feels so weird. Uh-oh, messed that up. Okay, so they got wall jumping in this. Or wall bouncing, sorry. Do you know? I'm not sure about the musical blocks. They're kind of annoying so far. Hold on. All right, we see our first... Cooper, wow, imagine Cooper's getting relegated to world free before you see a Cooper Trooper. Feels bad, man. Okay, you can't take. Okay, so far I haven't liked the music so far in these first couple levels. The new underground music is pretty good. But I, I'm saying the only reason is good because it borrows some from classic Mario's, Mario stuff. Like, I'm not sure if I'm feeling this, you know, we've stole Smooth McGrew's style with the ba-boo-doo ba -doo -ba -doo. I like Smooth McGrew, but, you know, I don't...
you don't know who Smooth McGroove is, you're like, oh, what are you talking about? Go YouTube him. Mess that up. Okay, hold on. Let me. Where are you? Stamp on every single barrel. Okay, so it's our star power works now. Uh, when you got star power, you can break through barrels. And each star star power has a countdown timer on it now. Okay. Lack everything. Uh oh, hold on. Still trying to figure out what these purple coins do. Damn it, I was trying to plot to hit the hundred, but you literally blew up the bar under my feet. Hold on. There seems like there's something on the right there because it's got it's got butterflies. I wonder if there's a secret. Oh, oh isn't this fun? The flower castle is me. I'm just uh, is me and I'm the flower castle. So much wonder power. I can feel myself getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And soon everything will be mine. <laughs> you do you, Bowser. You do you. I, oh, is there a secret? Uh, that no good Bowser, I won't stand for his antics. We've got to get him. We've we've got to get to him somehow. Ah, uh, let's use the propeller flower up ahead to catch up. All right, we're doing a first look here, so I haven't got time to look, but I would go search for a secret exit there. Ooh, did I see frame drops there? Huh. Oh, may maybe that was the introductory world because that was a bit short. For world one, three levels. Oh, you're my dad's a castle now. Nobody's going to be able to stop him now that he's all powerful. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, kids are back. Always like the kids, Bowser's kids, or destroying them, should we say? This is getting worse and worse. And look at the plant coiled around that house over there. Hey, okay, I've got it. Let's try using our wonder seeds. I bet they will fix this. They're really powerful. Okay, so we got lives. We got coins. We got purple coins and then seeds on the left okay and then we got like a lock icon badge house in pit Rock plateau but this is the thing we was talking about i think it, this is how you get like different abilities right is everything all right in here I was so scared. I thought 
I'd will on the spot, but I'm glad I was here to keep this badge safe. I can take it. Oh yeah, badges, they have lots of different effects. People who travel through the flower kingdom like flower kingdom like using them. Um Princess uh Prince Florin, I if I could be so bold, wouldn't you accept this gift from me? I'm sure some someone as princely as you will know how to use it best. I'm so used to Princess Peach, I can't stop saying it now. Oh, thank you. I've always wanted to wear one of these. I can use the power of this badge to help everyone. That brings a bloom to my heart, Prince. I'm happy that you're pleased. Badges will take some tr trouble out of your travel. Bye bye. This way. Training ground. While in midair, press R or shake the controller to open your hat and float slowly downwards. Okay. See you later. Ah, I think I like the. Actually, no. Doing the spin was kind of useless right now. It was just. Oh, look at this place. There's so much to see, but there's another one of those icky plants. We're going to need more wonder seeds. So where do you think we should head first? If you want to have a look at the map, press L. Alright, that has to be the intro area. Okay, so this seems like the first. The difficulty, difficulty. So I got two seeds there. And the Yoshi coins seem like they may be replaced by these big purple coins. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Hold on. And then this section turns into 3D world, right? Because you can move how you want. Hurry, hurry. Can I just not go here and just because I've already got. Oh, you need 10. Okay, it looks like we don't have enough wonder seeds. Let's collect more. Okay, okay. So they're doing this Mario 64 style. You need stars. So the seeds are like what is gating your progress. Ah, I see. Got it. Okay. I stamp on you. Nope. I shoot you. That was stressful. Well, you're welcome for the, you know, rescue. Uh, how do I? I guess that's why they got rid of the gliding ability with Yoshi and all that, right? Because they've just put it onto a... Oh, okay. Uh... They've just put it onto like a sticker now. I hope they don't destroy each other. No, this way, this way. Mine now. Oh, uh, okay. Didn't expect that to happen. I was. Wow. Can I jump on these? Yes. 
Man, I'm I am enjoying the new enemy variety type. Because we have, I feel like we haven't seen new enemy variety types in a 2D Mario for the longest time. Alright, hold on. There's stuff that we missed. Oh like I could go down here. Nope. When coins shoot out of a pipe, it usually signals you can go down that pipe. I guess not. Not anymore. In your boomer dad's Mario, maybe. that for a coin all right there's something in here hold on uh, maybe no i can't jump from it underneath oh wait can you break oh there you go Oh, is this the one that we saw in all those trailers? Okay. Stamp heat! I got PTSD of this. I can't see this. I just remember. We're faster dying the last time this happened. Thanks, Nintendo. For reminding me. Oh, wait. Is there a secret exit? Okay, okay. Hold on. Like, if you don't hit that plant, would you have got to see that secret exit? Oh, no, no. Now we're getting the secret exit. Hold on. Alright, right, we definitely got to do this level again. I, I feel like that's the easy. Also, spoilers. Lion King. If you haven't seen it by now, then I don't know what's wrong with you, okay? The film is like five good jillion years old. Bull rush coming through. Yes. Obviously, it wouldn't be a different exit there because journey together. What's this? Hello, nice to meet you. You can call me Professor Connect. Come talk to me anytime you want to do anything with online play. With that said, here's a lesson to have fun online. Share your adventure with players from all over the world. When you play online, you can have fun with folks from anywhere. That's a lot of little ways for players to help each other out uh, of a tight spot. Seems like a great reason to turn on online mode. Hmm, hmm, hint, hint. Go online. Online play guide. I mean, the, I, you're probably going to need Nintendo username. Da, 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 da. Play with front. Is this the way for them to get us to? It just says, oh, you got to buy online nah i'm good i like i had nintendo switch online for like two years and then i canceled it the second year they got me to re-up was because there was a there was a i wanted to do an online pokemon sword and shield and they was giving away shinies but you know since i've like dropped it i've like found no reason to they did a cool couple of multiplayer stuff but <laughs> not playing my multiplayer games on switch so you know no need for it so what i understand is like, uh, like you know how the, in Mario Maker they did the mini stuff and you can see shadows of other players and all that? That's what it does. Uh, it adds a cool effect. I don't know if it changes anything gameplay-wise. I don't think you're missing anything crazy, crazy. But again, I don't feel like that's stuff that they shouldn't um, lock behind. You need a subscription. That's like a core part of the game, right? You don't want to play online, but like you can see the like for my dark souls fans like you know you can see the outlines of other players and stuff or their spirits and stuff Yahoo! oh chat goes it is dark souls multiplayer stuff and it's pretty fun because chat explain it to me then because i haven't maybe i should have uh purchased online or like did a trial for online so i could have showed it off better isn't it just you can see 
uh you can see like the ghosts of other players the spirits of other players also new enemy interesting all right chat is gonna have to come in clutch here and explain what it does but again though so like dark souls doesn't do that you don't need an online connection to do uh like to see this messages and signs of other players in the dark souls game so it's, it's like this bit of a, a terrible move for nintendo to lock that behind online Oh, that's smart. That goes more involved. And you could play with each other without getting in each other's way. Because they're like spirits. Uh, I guess maybe that's why they've made it so you need it online. Oh, come on, Mario. Oh, he's too big. That's the up. Oh my god, him spinning on <laughs> it. Lol, that's funny. Yeah, I guess that's kind of cool. I get, I wish they would have probably kept in the... You can at least see what's going on with other players and stuff. Without needing the online connection. You, just, you can see what it is at least. Hey, sorry, I, I guess I can't have any deep takes about that because I haven't got online right now. Try saying that you only used it on their second playthrough just to see what it was about, so not to spoil secrets. Again, it's not not needed. I might do something similar. It's like I said, I like to. So, what's fun about Mario is discovering all the secrets yourself. So, I mean, the last online 2D Mario thing I can think of was. The, ma um, the maker stuff in Mario Maker 2, the you know the stuff that they added later, and it was so laggy and so bad. I guess that's my only experience from online Mario. Oh my god, what is happening? funny that the flowers say what everybody's thinking or they they've got the flowers there to like just emphasize that this is what we want you to think this is crazy isn't it oh that's interesting that chat is going it performs a, so much better in this which is weird and interesting right i guess they up there tech in two years i'm surprised like it performed so badly in maker 2 it was like shocking Now that you've collected some wonder seeds, I'm sure we can do something with them. Let's go let's go to where that coiled plant is. Alright, so we've got everything here. What's this? Break time. Wonder 
token tunes. Well, I'm, I'm glad uh, they fixed it. I wish they would go back and fix Mario Maker 2. Maybe we should try Mario Maker 2 again. Maybe they fixed their servers. Oh, it had it had the classic Mario World theme tune. Ah, oh, memories. The uh, because the bonus levels in that were the, exactly the same. Yo, that's a good callback. Let's see what you did there, Nintendo. All right, so far the best music has been the kind of callbacky music. What's going on here? Hey there, here, here at the poplin shot we saw everything and we accept flower coins as payment uh so that's what you do with those coins they're the currency what's this coin rules earn coins for defeating enemies a mysterious seed containing a strange power they are quite person okay you can buy a wonder seed one up mushroom one up mushroom set surprise buy one of these to get us that's a random it's surprise every time all right let's buy one of those hey what crouching mario what 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 wait i need an explanation you can place sandy just about anywhere in a course a sandy is a sign saying i was here Place Standy while crouching. Crouch and X. During online play, you can use Standy's place by players uh, players worldwide to re revive yourself when you're where you're a ghost. Your own Standies can't revive you, but they can rescue your fellow players online. You can you may be able to save someone by placing one in a dangerous location. Some sometimes you may find grey Standies within courses. They are. Sandy's placed in the uh, past by players around the world. As long as they are, are gray, they can't revive you. But if you touch them once, they will activate and you'll be able to use them. There are many different Sandy's designs. You can get new Sandy's through the Sandy Surprise, the Poplin Shovel, da da da. Once you've collected multiple Sandy's, try placing them repeatedly. Each time you place a Sandy, a design will change. Select Sandy's from the menu on the world map and see all the standees ah so that's an online play component again though it's looking like online play is like very important to this game but this isn't your traditional oh multiplayer stuff this is like your side thing that is cool that these in these consoles are connected online so it's really uh, it's not a good look that they've locked this behind because again you know it's a 40 pound game and it's like one of its core components is locked away by you need an online connection which is ter terrible like that's not a good decision at all by them. I don't think they should have done that. Wow. Again, all the Dark Souls games, you do not need an online connect. I mean, you need Wi-Fi. You don't need to pay for online subscription to enjoy all that stuff. Like what? I'm back again sometime. It's actually kind of annoying that they've done that. All right, so we got multiple paths here. We can go right or we can go up. Uh, hold down Y and move. Hold Y to, and move to dash. Reach the goal before the racing wiggler. It's a race. All right, let's go. Oh, didn't see that.
They're like, yo, we made Super Mario Bros. run. Don't forget. I didn't, I didn't install it the other day because there was some task linked to um, like getting your Nintendo, like my Nintendo rewards. So a family member wanted me to like add them as a friend. The game is pretty good, but it's not free. You have to pay to get some other stuff. I know this just reminds me of that. Is that don't forget, we made that run game. All right, okay. We did it. We've won a, a Wiggler race of Flower Kingdom. Especially Wiggler was a nice enough to give us an auto Super Mushroom badge to celebrate your victory. It's a really great badge. It triggers the effect of a Super Mushroom when you start a course. Okay, thanks. Want me to wear it? Uh, sure. Oh no, they even managed to take over uh, the palace here. There's a special treasure kept there that's known as the as a royal seed. We've got to do something before they use it for some evil purposes. Alright, and quickly I do like that you could change badges quickly. I'm going into a gajillion menus. Uh, Alright, so we did that. What's that? Where does this thing... Ooh, this is cool. Alright, interesting. Have you been keeping your eye on the stars rating for each course? Courses with the higher star rating can be really challenging, but if you're feeling confident, go for it. Oh. I'm a professional video game player! Oh, I can do it! Yo, free stars? This is what I'm talking about. Again, then again, I'm just going to tell you just right off the bat. I hate Kaizo Mario. And anybody who plays Kaizo Mario is a degenerate and enjoys Kaizo Mario, okay? There's a middle ground between doing shell jumps and difficulty. This alienated the entire community. Yeah, look how cool that background look. That background looks. Don't do it, you jerk. Hold on, was there a secret up there? There was. Okay, interesting. I was like, huh, there's a gap there. Oh, okay. Nice. I don't. What? What pipe? Oh, there. Wow, that power lasted long. Oh, no, I got. Appreciate this music. As I do that, music turns off. Go do it. Hidden the secret here. This is Mario One. Oh my God! Yes. Oh. 
Should have been a better secret episode. I have no idea I even got that. I was just like, oh, I just want to destroy everything here. And I was like, oh, wait. Oh, our first power block of the day. Uh-oh. Wait, what? Uh... I feel like there's a oh. secret. I reckon they'll... This pipe, it can't hold us. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I'm not willing to risk it. But there might be a secret down there. Maybe. Let's have a look at the overall map. Is this uh, something we see that there might be a secret on there? Yippee! Uh, yeah, well, you smarter than me. Wait, is this a difficulty four? Let's go. All right. You know that secret that I messed up on? I couldn't find. Did you not find it? No spoilers. But like, did you find it? Missed it. Oh my god, missed it again. like very trial and error to get the last two badges something we can come back for all right uh so we did that we did that we did that Well, give us a castle. We want to see a castle. Here we go. Oh, 
Oh, difficulty free for castles are oh, nice, nice. We want to see difficult castles. I don't know what this weird tentacle stuff is going on though, but okay. Okay, new. Let me hear the music. Yeah, mm, nah. And the music is not that strong in this game, I don't think. My personal opinion. I right, now I got a little bit better. The second. I hope every single castle music is not this because usually they rinse repeat the castle music, right? That'd be a shame. Because this feels very. Um, bland is not the word I'm looking for. It feels very. It doesn't feel Mario y. Like this music could be in any game. You know? What's the word I'm looking for? Not character. It doesn't feel unique to Mario. It doesn't feel Mario esque. The Koopas are hiding. Okay, that's okay. Like that. No, that messes up. No, I. Why did I butt dive right there? Oh, also, how do we get that flower? I... Huh. Don't worry, that's how you get the flower. No, don't drop my head. I like it. Totally new path for the flower. Yeah, I have the you jerk. Huh, this is short for a castle. Oh no, it's only halfway through. Oh no, no, it's just a boss save. It's a bit short for a castle. Wow. Time in chat, 10 out of 10. Mushroom. I meant it, I didn't want to make it too easy. I went for the mushroom What? Where's your dad? What, you think you're gonna stop me? <laughs> okay, then I'll play, play with you. This, is, this palace is super mega loaded with dad's wonder power. No way you're gonna beat me, but it's gonna be fun to see you try.
Cry more! Uh oh. Okay, wait. Maybe I shouldn't be taunting him before. Oh, how, how, how did. Oh, remember I was saying earlier on they haven't introduced Big Mario anything since the the mobile games. We finally got it back here. And shout out Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. We got little Mario now as well. Am I going to land it? No, I'm not going to land it. Oh no, I'm dead. No, I'm just. First time, first go. Pro streamer. You got a royal seed. <laughs> There's so many jokes to be made there. But PG Street, I'm not saying nothing. Yeah. I guess that can't be classed as the first world, right? Because I felt like we went through like three worlds. But if that's the first world. And this, that makes this very lengthy, which is cool. Huh? So Luigi Party can come in the palace with the royal sea safe in hand. They set off in pursuit of Bowser, who has somehow turned it turned into a castle. And they stop Bowser before he pulls off whatever he is planning. Actually, Chuck can answer that question. Does that class as the first world? I feel like we went over like three worlds, maybe. That's, if that's first world, that's pretty cool. That's lengthy. Uh, the palace are just ahead. This beautiful uh, place is heart of our flower kingdom. Oh, yep. Yeah. Chai is going, yep, yeah, world one. Oh, I like that then. That is, wow, that's the longest 2D Mario first world or section I've ever seen. That was, so it was three star levels, which I guess we're not going to see again. But even, the, oh, that's pretty nice. And let's try to catch up with Bowser. Because initially I was thinking, wow, it seems like we're on. Like third area. Uh, petal, pa hold on. I want to see the over map. Petal Isles. I'm sure that Bowser must be around here. Who is that? Yeah, that looks great though. Hee 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 hee. No one can even get close as long as my cloud piranhas are here. Which means I can focus on gathering up all the wonder power. Once I've got enough to pull off big wonder, got to pull off a big wonder, the world will be mine. You know what they here? I give Nintendo a good idea. You know what they need to do, or DLC, or make a like Mario game. Like you play on the perspective of Bowser. That's one thing they've never done in a 2D Mario game. That'd be cool, right? Like doing the whole thing, but you play as Bowser. Cause like how how different would bowser's physics be to elephant mario anyway so it'd probably be easy to implement this is what that one's for free nintendo you're welcome this is just awful isn't there some way we can stop him what's this oh borrow mario, mario galaxy theme right there What? Where did the cloud piranha go? What have you done? Okay, also, I, they're kind of borrowing things from Zelda also, right? You know, big thing in the middle, floating island. Shadow form, so much power, all from just one royal seed. Of course, that's our answer. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a request that almost too much to ask of you. Will you please help me find royal seed? Nah, they're, they're among our most prized treasure, and I believe we can use them to save the Fire Kingdom. The royal seeds will get rid of the 
cloud partners that are swirling around and if we get rid of them we'll be able to reach him very thank you uh let's make our way up to fluff puff peaks there is a royal seed at the palace yes, too okay All right, hold on. Let me... Horses. How do we see that map again? In the map. Okay. Pale Isles. Plus plus Peaks. We did the one on the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven. But the middle one seems... Like it's just where the Bowser section is. Yo, that was a chunky first world, man. Seven is looking like seven. Yeah. Uh, all this fi fish have been scared. All, all the fish have been scared of, but that buy that bowser guy i get i can't get any fish done fishing done with it. butchering this english oh this is awful we have to help don't worry we'll do everything we can to stop bowser once he's beaten i bet the fish will come back really thank you. uh you think that will work oh uh, that puts the bloom back into my day i know what i can do to help take this wonder seed i Reeled it in a long time ago. Wonder, wonder seeds are so pretty, and every world's seeds have their own color. Oh, is that what they're introducing here now? Seeds are different color. Okay, we got oranges now. Dolphin kick. All right. Only thing this is missing so far at the moment is I think secret exits. I don't haven't found any, or there isn't any at the moment, because uh, it just seems like one path so far. Uh, dolphin kit while underwater. Press R to shake the controller to unleash a brief burst of speed. Actually, honestly, it's better to use the analog stick there. I could have gone right there, that would have been quicker. I said I'd have probably got the last one gone right instead of. Nicely done. We got the badge. You just, you want me to wear it? Uh, sure. I guess this is gonna be the water level. So, 
play online. <laughs> yeah, if it was part of the game and we could do it for free, I can't experience it. Thanks, Nintendo. Straight money hide it. Uh, okay. I mean, the war levels in Mario are never good. Like, so why do they still keep doing them? I'm not saying this is bad, but it's just like, it's still, oh no, everybody hates the war levels, but yet they continue. Like, what is this, just like filler? Like, name me any war level in any game that is a platform or 2D or 3D that is good. The only thing I can think of is... Is the Donkey Kong Country game, and that's for two reasons. One, the music is so good, and two, they give you like the the dolphin or the the shark. What is it? Shark, shark fin, needle nose. Oh, what's what's that thing? Dolphin, shark, shark, dolphin. Whatever. You know what I mean? Which makes it bearable, but like you don't get that in Mario. Right, I said Donkey Kong. Did I say Donkey Kong? Did I say Donkey Kong Country? That's the only one, right? Like 3D Mario, it was terrible. Tomb Raider, it was terrible. Uh, who remembers the early days of Tomb Raider underwater like, swimming? Oh. But yeah, like why? Why do it? I don't understand. Uh, what am I missing? Tercia, this is a ability you're using so much. They didn't understand that the sound effects of this ability is awful. I'm going backwards, but I can't be sure. Okay. Another point against this, actually. 
Like, you know, my reward is great because you can ride Yoshi, but like, I haven't, there's no ability to ride Yoshi here because you can use it as a character. Again, this is the best bit of music in this game. Like this, like the underground area music. Oh, what's this? Finally, new ability. Okay. like a secret oh maybe this is the way to go hold on oh well it was a secret i found the secret and then i didn't use the secret As much as people are talking about, oh, you know, it feels like Mario closest thing to like Mario world physics and all that. Some of the stuff is just like off and doesn't feel great, especially like when you're like the way you bounce and jump off of enemies and like bounce and jump, jump off of platforms like this. It still feels very like new Mario, which isn't as tight. to use that block that they was talking about here. Okay, this is great. I like this. What if I butt stomp? Oh no, mistakes are made. I wonder if I shouldn't have collected the seed and if there was something up there. Seriously, everything World 2 so far has been not great at all. 
Like the water stuff I didn't like at all. The ice stuff I don't like at all. Uh yeah, alright, let's do difficulty level. <sighs> That's a shame. Seriously. Like the last six levels I've just haven't been enjoying the physics. Jump against a wall and then press B button and jump straight up twice. Oh, did they automatically equip that because they know you need it here? You know you're gonna see some Kaiser hardcore player just do this one go and make the rest of us look trash. I do like this new mechanic though. This is the best thing about this game so far. This new up jump mechanic. Oh, oh my, oh my God. Wow. Ah! For fuck's sake. Oh. Oh. Just when I finish complimenting. No, I take it all back. Yeah, this is the best thing about this game so far. That and the Wonder Seas. But this is a cool platforming update. Tricky. <gasps> That's a bit tricky, chap. Focus. Take a breath. Shut up. Yep. You're not helping here. Wait, I missed one. Where did? That was cool. That was a nice level. That's what I'm talking about now. That's why I come to Mario for platforming, not sliding on ice or swimming through water. ladies and gentlemen we've been playing this for about three three and a half hours i feel like uh i'm ready to give some final thoughts on this uh again like we're covering this two months late now so it's 
like it, like a few of my community held off on this as well because I've like, got so much to cover. And, uh, sorry, we've got so much to play, and you know we put this in in the backlog. Uh, so I feel like a lot of people might be coming to this for Christmas or you know just putting this in, in that pile uh, because there were so many like awesome games that come out this year, right? And I wanted to get this out before the end of the year so we can compile some kind of a game of the year list. Um, so where are we putting this? Like straight off the bat, like I said, oh, we like, it's be, it was compared to super mario world and i was like that's unfair on this game but also fine it's piqued my interest and if you're comparing it to that uh journalist and stuff it was, it was that was unfair to do straight away like nope no it's not good no it's spoiler it's not good as super mario world nowhere like nowhere near uh it, it's not even as good as from what i played it a bit so far anyway so it's still early but like just like the feel and everything we're seeing so far um also not as good as um uh mario free um after that where i would play i'm not sure i'd obviously have to complete the game before i do that um so let's start off with the things that i don't like about the game the uh the music i don't know like some of the underground music is good but i think the i think most of everything i've heard of the music so far is a miss like i i get what they try to do like they try to do everything new but like e everything after mario one uh, if you look at all the Mario music, they hearken back to some Mario stuff, even if they wanted to go really out there. So yeah, I think the music is a like 90% miss for me. So that's a real shame. Um, no, I like Yoshi is a character, so there's no Yoshi that you can ride in the game. That totally changes up the physics and everything. So that would, that would be nice. I'm a big fan of Yoshi, and the Yoshi gameplay. So that's, you know, again, if you want to compare it to Mario World, that's not, that's not great. Uh, after World 1, which is great, like, platforming-wise, right? They introduced you to that Petal Island, and you go up into the Fluffy Cloud if you look straight up. And those were just levels that were water levels and ice levels. And it's like, you spent World 1 focusing on great platforming, and then you made us suffer through, like, water levels and then ice levels, which nobody likes, and they still feel terrible here. Like, you know, you come to Mar Mario for solid platforming and all that stuff, and then, like, I was saying to my chat as well, like, other than Donkey Kong Country, and like maybe one or two games like no game does underwater platforming well even if you're 2d or 3d game and, and it's just i'm not saying this feels worse than any other mario game it just feels the same you know but like at least with some of the older mario games of donkey kong you had cool music to like get through it and you haven't got that cool music here so uh going straight off of world one and then going straight into like water and then ice levels was not a good like flow from them you know like and it just like i went from world one to going oh my god i would like to play i want to play loads more of this and the second hour and a half that we've been playing for to the third hour here i'm like oh, i want you to drop this you know and that's kind of, that seems kind of harsh but that's not because i'm saying the game's bad i'm saying oh that flow of they made us go through those levels so i'm glad that i will be getting them out of the way early because like later on look i'm seeing like sand and like poison and like you know probably i don't know what that is in the bottom left so i it, that stuff feels like filler it's not they're not fun to play they're still not fun to play so i don't, I don't know why they got them in there you know it's, it's not temple of mario's that oh you need the ice and the underwater level so that's that takes uh 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 the shine of some of this product um the big one for me though i mean the big one was the music but the other one there's a there's an online component to this game uh where you connect online and then you can do multiplayer stuff kind of like dark souls-esque right i saw the trailers and all that. obviously my chat explained it a little bit more to me because we didn't have the i haven't got online connection here to try it out and like we was having that bigger conversation of is it worth getting online connection obviously it's not worth for this one game the only game i could think it justify is probably cod anyway but like obviously it's definitely not worth it for here but you just put we just paid 40 pounds for this game and then there's a core component of this uh that you can't play because you need an online connection and it's not like oh you know well it's the same comparison to card multiplayer obviously you need an online connection no it's not it's not that integral though so like you know for them to like add that cost on and wait for them to sell online is a real eyebrow raising like i don't i from the videos and all that i've seen here it's not like deep enough and like if you're gonna play with other people sure yeah multiplayer but like i this feels like if you like it it is being compared to the Dark Souls stuff, and if you compare it to the Dark Souls stuff, none of the Dark Souls games you've ever ever needed to pay for online subscription to uh, to use those features, you know, with messages and things like that. So I 
don't think they should have. This ain't Splatoon or Mario Kart multiplayer. Uh, it's just like a little uh, added on thing for the game. So that is a major, major. I can't believe that. Like, you know, you like there's a component of the game that you've added some. Like, it's not even to the point of it's a side mode. There's things you get in the game, stickers and all that, that you can still access and you can still purchase with your coins in the game that you basically can't use. Because you you know pay for, buckle up pay for it online so that that should have been totally free so that takes major marks off it for me so that's what's I, I, like I said I'm gonna start with a negative here because that's what's taking the shine off of the product for me you know like, let's talk about the like because again I say this is why I can't be compared to Mario World and Mario Free now let's talk about the good things um the new power the new elephant Mario power fun fantastic like it like sometimes they introduce new power i mean they have they've introduced a new another part of new power here i was gonna make a, the comment of sometimes powers are hit sometimes are miss like they've got a power that is a fantastic hit but at the same time they've got a power that is a miss like the uh, miss they got the bubble power uh which is eh, whatever uh but the elephant power is like great feels solid it's not like you become an elephant and you know it slows you down or anything like that that like if they're gonna make another new Mario Maker, like if they drop that in, it is just super fun, that fantastic addition to the whole Mario world ecosystem. You know, keep that in, 100% fantastic. Um, the other thing that only like like the hardcores would appreciate here, obviously they've got the whole badge system where because obviously they've taken it away like you know you like you yoshi doesn't have um luigi doesn't have their different jumps because it's a it's a badge system and you equipped it for different like this is floating jump this is like a, a hover sorry this is hover jump this is like a, hover, a float down uh you know this is like a better underwater power and this is the big one that we've and again we've only like t scratched the surface here but this this power is just fantastic and like sh like here you do it doesn't really you wouldn't think why is it so fantastic the reason this pa power is fantastic is it adds so much to the platforming aspect of it so uh they've introduced wall jumping for the longest time but here is when you equip this you can sh like jump up fr uh, from a wall jump because you all like normal wall jumping is you jump off of the wall like to the opposite direction you can still do that here but they've got literally levels based on this mechanic where no you you jump off a platform and you jump straight up fantastic 10 out of 10 new addition to the mario move pool it's a shame that it isn't uh like isn't default right wall jump is on by default but this ability is like so like the two big thing they've added here is uh yeah the the new uh, elephant power and this new up jump like i'm really really like solid uh and then obviously the big thing here is they've got the wonder seed which totally changes up the mechanic of every of like you know every like almost every level but like add some flavor uh so that's like the big praise you can give to this game right like after you played like mario world and you had the new super mario world games it felt like it was kind of playing it safe and it just felt like more mario again i'm not saying this is something revolutionary if you don't like 2d mario games there's nothing here that is like oh i've got to have this one if you was kind of burnt out on 2d mario games again i don't know even saying there's something here they're like oh yeah fresh new experience like the freshest new experience we had on 2d mario games was mario maker because it was like not only could you play you could also make and you could see what is the wild come out the wild imaginations of other creators so like that was the freshest new experience uh so you know i'm not saying this is doing something on that level but if you didn't want to touch any of the maker games and all of the like previous 10 15 years of uh 2d mario felt same samey this this is what this is a plus point for this mario game then because uh like we're seeing like new enemies and new mechanics that we haven't seen in the longest time so that i would give it a big boost up you know this feels different enough some some like some some good some good steps forward some still you know just steps back you know it's uh so the question was when we started this first look two months late which everybody probably saw the reviews and everything knows anyways but like was the question was uh is it as good as everybody's saying it is and uh, it, i don't like to end on negatives you know and I'm, I'm not making out like this is a bad game this is a fine 2d mario game let's just like let me just make that clear but is it as good as everybody was saying no it's not you know this ain't something crazy and revolutionary is like you know if you played mario maker one 
and the way that was getting hyped when that came out like 12 15 years ago 12, I, that's been a while now wherever it was when it came out it was like was that as good it was that uh oh you're a 2d mario fan you need to play this that you know that it was not on that level so it's it's a it's a good mario game it's not a it's not a bad mario game is it as um you know is that as good as everybody's saying no nah, i don't think so like like yeah it's a, it's a good game it's not as crazy good as everybody else is saying so like maybe check your expectations when you're coming in like you know i it was it was so like i said it was so unfair to this game to say oh super mario world and like comparing to super Mario world because it was never it was never gonna live up to that the greatest game ever made for me it's not even me this is not in my opinion it just is greatest game ever made that was like this was fine up here battles i was like i feel like that was real irresponsible of like uh journalists content creators reviewers and all that to even put that comparison because like nothing you know you can't live up to that uh they should have just said yo is uh we haven't had a fresh new experience for a 2d mario game in the longest time and i'm glad they're trying to have something new new and different and it's cool check it out like that's 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 what i would say rather than oh you know is do we compare it to one of the greatest 2d mario games and it doesn't even meet top two so yeah you know if you haven't played 2d mario game in the longest time it's a good 2d mario game it's you know it still has some down points so you know keep that in mind all right there you have it uh short video go up on youtube longer video or go up on twitch leave a comment let me know what you thought uh you picking this up 2d mario not your thing 2d mario better than 3d mario 2d mario is better than 3d mario by the way uh that longer video will be up on twitch uh, don't forget we stream there a couple times a week we've got community discord twitter all that information will be in the description uh don't forget to follow like subscribe uh depending on what platform you're watching other than that i think we're gonna call it with this one thanks for tuning in much love peace